Hey everyone, Corey here coming in to do the uh, energy to do the energy update for pretty much going into the weekend. So it is going to be for the um, August the 24th and started this energy update really started about the 22nd for me that I start downloading this. And so we just had our Mercury retrograde coming in and into Virgo. And so we're in Virgo season. We have we have that grounded, rooted, getting some sure footing. There's a little bit of softness here, a softness in our steps, the softness in our movement, and there is some soft moving energy, but there, it, this is also an opportunity for us to be able to take a little bit of a breather, but um, I feel like it's a bit of a short-lived kind of energy. There is coming up with this a lot of uh, energy that ties into the economy and into finances and into money and um. And I feel like we're going to be seeing a, a, a shift of flux, an influx of, of money. And I mean like dollar bills. I don't mean like using, using currency that is not really real. I mean the exchange of dollars and money and seeing a comeback of cash exchanges and people really truly starting to bring back in cash exchanges. I pay you this cash for that. And, and I don't know if I'm seeing this because I'm seeing some sort of complications within the electronic systems, within the electronic world. Of course, with Mercury retrograde, anything is possible. Or if it is a, or if it is something that is of a planned type of change. But there is a, there is that kind of shift that I have happening. Um, I also have, um, I just looked over and I just, and I just had stop and pause. I'm just came right out of channel because in the corner of my room, there's a, um, an animal, like literal, like literally animal from the Muppets hanging out the corner because in the corner of my bedroom is my, is my husband's drums, electronic drums. And I'm like, Oh, <laughs> and I just had a moment. And so, um, I, and I'm not sure if this is going to be a visual or not. If it's an audio, you may be just getting this in audio. Go and see how the recording goes. I'm a bit, I'm a whole lot wiggly and wormy because I cannot sit still due to a um, an injury that I am um, that I'm working through a because of a battle with a wasp um, and a wasp sting on my in my that caused an absolute horrific few weeks. So when I said in the beginning of August. August would be a shit show. August has been a shit show and there's a lot of shit show energy, but August is not over yet. So we still have another week of August. So these few days, if we got a few days that we can just have this debris, this is a pre debris where you, or pre where you just get to kind of like breathe through and just be in a calmer energy and soft energy, um, take advantage of it really, truly just breathe with it, be with it, whatever that may be. Um, like I said, coming into Coming into September, September is 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 also not going to be a breeze as well. I do have some sort of bridge or a crossroads and being at like a, having to like be at a bridge. And I just feel like having to cross over, like be careful of burning bridges, be careful of saying things that you're going to regret. But um, on the flip side of that, I do see that there is some some energy that bridges things, that brings things together. So we have bridges that are burning down. We have, we, and I, I do see bridges that are dissip, dissipating, disappearing, not being a, like having to find another way in life, having to walk another path, do things differently than you've been doing them before, whatever that may be. I'm seeing it all the way around. Um, but I am seeing bridges also being formed and these bridges are coming in. A, like I see these bridges coming in from a divine presence. And a very strong divine energy bringing in these bridges. And so these bridges are coming in from a, um, I feel like it's like what bridges us. So this is a soul to soul or it's spirit divine. This is spirit connection. So this brings us into spirit world, connecting to spirit guides, connecting to the angels, connecting to the divine beings, connecting to beings. And I mean, I've been having a lot of Palladian energy come back in and a lot of conversations with the Palladians again. And when I was, when I was having to spend a lot of time in my bed um, and very much not even being able to really move a whole lot, every time 
I'd open my eyes, I would have these, I would see these dots and these dots would move and shift around and they were all these blue dots. And, and that's how the Palladians came to me when they first appeared to me, the first time I ever met the Palladians. And so the Palladians are coming, but such a, such a in such a loving, kind way, with such a compassion and such a care for us. They really care for our well-being. The same with the same with the angels. And as I've been saying, this is a, this is the ancient angels. This is the angels of this is the angels of the guardian. Um, this is the guardian the, the guardian angels of of the gates of the divine. They take care of so many things within our lives, and they really truly try to bring our souls back into our soul purpose and to our divine purpose. And 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 they're really coming forth with a lot of uh a lot of uh like a lot a lot of powerful energy and so you may be feeling this powerful energy that you may take as a resistance and you may be resistant because it feels foreign you don't know what to do with it but sometimes we have to step into the unknown step into the uncomfortable and let yourself be in there and i can tell you august has been an absolutely uncomfortable month july was like oh i got married all these beautiful things happened august hit thought it was going to be wonderful and then mm -hmm, it was nowhere near a wonderful experience. And, and my, and my appearance right now is kind of showing it. It's an, it's an obvious. And so it, it does, I do appear as if I've been through to the war and back. And I do feel like there is definitely has been some challenging energy. And of course, where there's light, there's dark. And we are being met with the dark energy. We're being met with having to watch a lot of people go through a lot of really challenging experiences. And I wasn't kidding. Like when I said August was going to be a shit show, it has been a shit show weather wise, uh, weather wise, uh, with all of our forest fires, with the, with the rain, everything with the hurricanes, floods, everything that's been happening has been overwhelming. Now we're going to start coming back into this. And when I say we got this like divine presence and light, we're going to see a lot of sunshine. I feel like in the next little bit, we're going to see a, a big I keep seeing like a ball of like fire, but not fire on the land so much, but like fire in the sky. So I'm seeing like a fire in the sky. I'm seeing this big ring. So I feel like we have another, we have another scorcher coming in for a, a, a like a large, large population. Um, and so we do have a lot of really, I feel like there's like, don't, don't pull out those, don't pull out those big parkers and sweaters. If you're in, if you're in Canada right now, don't get out your Uggs and your, in your, in your, uh, Starbucks. Uh, yeah, you can go get your Starbucks. Go get your Starbucks lattes. It's pumpkin spice lattes. But but it's but be aware that I don't think it's going to be the season yet of really truly pull out all of that fall clothes and get dressed for fall. It it doesn't feel like that. I feel like there's a heat. Like I have a powerful heat, and I feel like we're going to be feeling the heat. So we're going to be feeling the heat temperature wise. We're going to be feeling the heat on us to get things cleaned up, cleared up, clear up your past, clear up some old energy, old things that have to be tied up, endings, like really, truly tie off endings, close portals, really, truly don't open portals that you cannot go beyond that you can't clean up. Don't be out there thinking that if you just started in the spiritual work that I'm going to open this portal and I'm going to connect into this. You, you open up a portal, you open up some serious shit. It's like getting in. Don't get into relationships or or be tempted to get into battles with people that you're not prepared to be able to handle because you don't have the power, the energy, the resources within you, or or that you're just too freaking nice and and you and you can't behave and act like some of the world of 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 individuals in the human behaviors that are that have been built in their persona. You can't beat them. And it's like, don't engage in that. Don't open up energies. Don't open up your door to, don't open up your door to the salesman. I'm like, don't open up your door. I, I remember having this message last winter, I think it was. Don't turn your lights off. Don't be afraid. But just say, no, I'm not engaging in this conversation. Don't get into it with narcissists. You'll never win with a narcissist because you'll never get the validation, the sorry, the, I, I, the forgiveness. You'll never receive any of those things that you think you'll ever get, it'll never, ever happen. So don't, don't go there. Don't, don't go there. Don't choose to close off those, to make those, make those endings tied off, close it off. 
Stop engaging in conversations with people who really truly don't deserve that energy or, or that you've been waiting for those validations. Time to really make those changes, really truly bring that change into your life. The salesman energy, and I would say this is like when you see, I remember just being kids, being at my grandmother's, whatever, and the you see that the, you know, the Electrolux is vacuum cleaner salesperson come or whatever, or the the encyclopedia that was coming to sell the whole set of encyclopedias, like close the door, lock the door, or or when say someone's coming to sell you religion to the door and you're like, hide away, hide away. And it's like, no, don't just just don't let people step up on the step that if you don't want people to cross your over into your territory, into your land, onto your space, don't give, don't just stop, stop it in his track. Say, no, don't come any farther. It's not welcome. And, and it's, and it's, and it's, and you don't have to be mean. It's just, no, I'm not going to turn my light down. I'm not going to let someone try to convince me of something I'm not, or somebody I'm not, I'm starting to really come into there. So there's a knowing and a deeper understanding into knowing who we are and, um, and recognizing some of the things that that we stop playing some of the mind games or being tempted by the mind games. Um, and so th those things are huge. Now, as I said, like when you see those comments, not about hiding away and not facing things, it's just saying no. Um, the portal energies, when I see this portal energy that I'm getting is this portal energy is telling us that it is time to make these, um, is that it's like, don't open up those portal doors. Like the, you may think you're ready to step out there and step out into this big world of, of meeting all this energy, but the, the, the big energy that's coming up, that's really truly with us. And that's that the, the ancient guardians are trying to teach us. And the virtue that they're really, truly trying to teach is the virtue of discernment and learning how to use discernment. And being able to use discernment throughout the next centuries or the next, you know, eras of within our lives in such a way that, <laughs> come here, in such a way that we get it, that we, that we, that we can start to really think for ourselves, right? Um, because there is a, um, it's like releasing or um, taking a, what is the word they're using? I want to say debunking some of the old programming, but it's not, it's, um, it's, it's obsolete, right? It's just some, there's some obsolete, but we also got some discernment in where we've got some of that old programming and on a big scale, I just see some of those big world organizations really, truly not being able to pass the agenda, the power they have in a collective or in a group to be able to and with finance, with fake money behind them, because a lot of times it's not really real money anymore. And where's the money? It's it's all it's all it's all tied up in things. But if all things, if a lot of things are not there, then where's the money? And so a lot of those places are going to be seeing. So a lot of those places, a lot of that kind of energy. And by places, I don't mean specific places. I mean like spaces that hold a lot of energy of big powerful people playing god you're just going to see a lot of questioning or a lot of you just can't have too many gods and when we try to have too many gods when you try to create too many men in too many men into gods they become the battle between the gods on earth and so they're not really gods it's god complex so when you have too many god complexes in one's place whether it's female, male, it's like, no matter what it is, you will see a battle. So you'll see a battle that will start to unfold. I feel like, and this is a prophecy that I know I'm kind of getting coming forward somehow. I don't know how much this is going to go into, but it's, it really truly, it's, it's, it begins a, a ripple effect of something. And I just feel like some of the people that were on each other's sides are going to not be on each other's side, whether that is on a political whether that's on a big scale. So now I want you to bring that, bring all of that into small. If everything that's happening in the universe is happening within us, think of this on a small scale. Imagine what's happening within you. So imagine the battle between this side and that side of you, between what is right for you, what is not right for you, between doubt and fear and faith and hope. 
what is between your masculine, your feminine energy, that duality, that battle that we have always have, that being able to come to the center of you, come into that whole center balance, and to be able to really truly learn how to ask yourself the right questions and trust the response, to use discernment in some of the things that you that you either got caught up in, that you became a huge part of, that it was just like that that battle of, oh, you know, you got fed all this story and that's the only thing you knew was that story and now starting to find out another side of the story, getting to know some more parts of the stories and, and getting to know other sides of people and different sides of people. I just feel like we just want to get back into our, our easygoing childlike energy and we want to be able to have fun again and a playfulness again. But we got to get, we got, you know, that's where endings have to happen. We have to tie up those loose ends. We have to clean up the things that are always chasing us, that are always, that we're always looking over our shoulder. So we have that kind of like the devil card into row. And so it's like that sense of what is it that keeps you always looking over your shoulder or what is it that you always have and not be able to, that you feel that you've told yourself the story that you can't trust anyone or you can't trust people or that we need to be divided. What bridges have we burned? And I just feel like it's like that, that come back together, that getting back into ourselves. And so these ancients and the Palladians are here in such a big way to teach us now about the ability to be connected into the divine, to be connected with ourselves, our divine self and our divine awareness. And just knowing we don't, we didn't come here as spirit to be out there. We came here to be human. We came here to to help create a better human, and that is not in not that's not in how we build up, and it's not in how big we can get in in being better than one another, or stepping over one another, or or you know conquering one another. It is about love, and it is about being able to be caring for each other, but also knowing that sometimes we have to make some of the tough choices and some of the tough decisions. So that we also maintain some sort of, some sort of, you know, integrity to restore and keep the foundations of our world strong and uphold the sense of creating an environment and a world that does have a sense of safety, but not being controlled in so many ways. And so bring that into self again, bring it into self and where in ourselves do we feel this energy? How does this energy impact us within our own stories, within our own lives? How many times, how many, you know, do we get caught up in media news? There's, there's so much exchange of, I'll give you this, I'll sponsor you this, I'll pay you this. I'll, you know, it's like all of those things. If I sponsor you to say, I have the best product in the world, that means you have to never promote another product. You're only allowed to promote what I have. You're only allowed to speak about what I have and what I give. So if you only live within yourself in, in only seeing through the one, one view, one story, and that's all, where did you become so loyal to that one story that you didn't use, that you're not using a sense of self-judgment to be able to connect? Because even though you have doubts, even though you wonder, you still keep doing the same things over and over, always on repeat. Someone keeps burning that bridge and you keep and, and it's like, and you keep opening up that door, keep opening up the gates again, whatever it is, keep letting that be built again. Sometimes we have to know that we got to let things go. And so there is this energy that's going to be speaking to us in such a big way coming into this week, into next week, as we end out August, also coming into September, that's going to speak to us in big ways. Um, and so I can't wait to do September's monthly report because I would love to just go on and on today because I just have so much to be able to give and share with you. But I want to be able to bring it more into a uh, let it fully finish, be and download it. But uh, remember, everything that I speak of is energy that, I, that I'm picking up on a world, but it's not about, it's not getting caught up in that. It's bringing it into ourselves and how sometimes, you know, what's happening with our home base, what's happening, what's happening in our foundation, what's happening in our empire in our world that we create? What is it we're doing to ourselves? What is it we're allowing? What keeps us from our happiness, our joy? What keeps us from being able to see the beauty? What keeps us going to fear instead of faith? 
that within ourselves, that which keeps us allowing ourselves to keep, you know, being in a repeat cycles. Look at those things. Those are things to get cleaned up. Those are things to be done. And I hope in some way that this resonates with you and have a beautiful weekend and a beautiful next week of in your last week of August. And I will see you again very, very soon for your September and for all of my clients who are now waiting for me to get back to work and for pe- for everyone waiting for me to open up my appointment book again. I am praying I will be back to work next week. I'll be back with my clients that are on that have been bumped ahead for next week. And then I will be opening up my September schedule as well in the coming weeks and uh, getting back into some of the work and back on track. But in the meantime, I'm going around looking like this <laughs> and and this is um and I've really had to sometimes this is a divine intervention and these things stop us in our tracks and stop me in my tracks to get me to stop pause and really look at what speed I may have been going on what I needed to see and to um recognize how much how much I have to care for this body and um I'm not this I'm not a, I'm not the strong person I used to be I have a lot of spiritual strength my my spiritual strength is strong but my physical body is vulnerable it is it's not superwoman no more and it's not trying to be superwoman so it's a lot of self-love where do you need to put in that self-love think about it um much much love if you want to purchase my or my new deck of the everyday goddess oracle cards or my uh, more, my revised more than existing new book and the beyond the reflections go to my website go to coreythorn.com and if you really want, love these videos and you would love to, you know, help me be able to keep doing this work, then you can also donate, um, donate a coffee in the donation down below. My PayPal link is there and um, it helps me be able to keep going and keep doing this work. And I look forward to seeing you all very soon. Please subscribe. Much love. Bye-bye.